Woo! Time for another maiden. Free wing AL37. But he ain't nervous. He's never nervous. Never nervous, right? No. <laughs> hey, look. Keep going. Keep going. Wow. All right. I have actually never seen the AL37 in person. Uh, even though I do have one still sitting in the box. But here we go. <laughs> this one likes rudder one. You got to use the rudder on this one, okay? Airliners have a tendency to want to tip off if you don't use rudder with it. Well, this thing moves fast, doesn't it? We're going to do a roll any second now. I know one. It did? Yeah, look. <laughs> okay. Chris, I can't look right now. But I hear it though. This thing is fast. Let me get this back in focus. So far out there and it's white. Here he goes, low pass. What do you think, Juan? It works. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> he comes across the field. Wow. Probably be, probably get uh, from here to San Francisco in like a uh, couple of hours in this thing. <laughs> this baby moves. Uh oh, there he goes. The passengers are sick. <laughs> Descending out of 21,000 feet, we're declaring an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he wouldn't take long. I knew it wouldn't. Door open. Gear down? Yep. Here he comes. See if you can do a wheelie on your first maiden. I mean, on your maiden. Right. Whoa. Whoa, watch out for the tree. Oh! oh! Tree! Whoa, watch out for the tree. Oh! oh! Tree! George, 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 you and me. Oh, yeah, we can do that now. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, that ain't the thing over there. Yes, <laughs> what could happen? What could happen? <laughs> <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> we got some duct tape. Olivia! <laughs> <¿Qué pasó? laughs> no say? Oh. Whoa, watch out for the truck. <laughs> Hello everyone, 
welcome back to Motion RC Live. As always, I'm James with Alex behind the camera this week. We're back to our usual uh, Friday live show. Want to wish everyone a happy Memorial Day weekend. Um, obviously got the nice three day weekend if you're in the States coming up. So enjoy that and don't forget to remember what the day is all about as well. Spend a little time and uh, think about the people who uh, sacrifice so much, um, you know, on what we enjoy as now we get that day off and we enjoy the weekend for but remember what it's all about i want to welcome everybody who's in the chat looks like we got a lot of people here uh you know for a regular friday live show but that's just it so uh earlier this week you guys saw we announced our sub spin and win so uh we tested it out we have now we're up to a hundred over a hundred members but uh we had 99 and on wednesday we did a private session where we tested out our spin idea we were going to give out three. We did three spins, but then Alpha, who was in the chat, you know, our product manager, he went nuts, he went nuts and started giving out more spins. And we were picking people. We ended up doing giving away seven uh, prizes, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So the test worked. But now, as far as how the test, how the contest is going to go, every Friday, sometime during this live show, and I leave it up to Alex. He's producing it. He's in charge of everything you see on the side. As we go through you know right now we have zohd we'll talk about we'll go through the community in between one of those danny murphy welcome to the motion rc community captainship welcome aboard sir thank you uh we also i want to shout out one ranger darren wilson san exup and gary gary brum uh did i get that wrong uh but they just joined this morning uh as well so thank you so much but back to what we're talking about. So the sub spin and win. <laughs> Enrico Chavi, Test Flight TV, welcome aboard. You yeah, to the community <laughs> captainship. So uh, I'm gonna try to just roll through it, but I got I, I'm gonna do that all the time. If you join during the show, it's gonna be crazy. But thank you so much for joining. Um, so the sub spin and win. Every Friday at some point during the show, we're gonna we have already we randomly chose one subscriber from our channel. And uh, it'll pop up, and that, and we're gonna spin the wheel. We have a wheel full of prizes, and whatever that person wins, um, they will have one week until the next drawing to claim your prize. And you will email us, and we'll have the details when it pops up. But uh, you'll email us. We have the email address um, to claim your prize, and we'll send you out a prize. Could be gift cards, could be hats, could be planes. There'll always be big prizes and little prizes on the wheel. There's some spin agains, and we're gonna we're gonna expand upon it. Um, you know, because this is going to be the first week we're doing it. So uh, as far as how you can enter, remember, you have to be a subscriber to the channel and you have to click the notify me, the, the bell. So that'll send the notification. Randy Hasselmeyer, welcome to the Motion RC Community <laughs> Captainship. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much, sir. Um, uh, what's it called? So you have to be a subscriber. You have to click the bell to be notified. And then... The, the software we're using that picks our randomly generates a winner every week um it is weighted towards likes towards comments towards interaction on the channel i i you know it's algorithms it's it's math and you know software tech but if you're a member of the channel and you don't watch our videos you don't like videos you don't occasionally comment you're less likely to be drawn as a winner so um that would be great. And then for you members, um, if you join, remember, Jolly Pirate, welcome to the Motion RC Community Captainship. Uh, we're going to do private giveaways, probably quarterly. And those prizes are going to, there's going to be more bigger prizes on those. And I was talking to my members on Wednesday in our first private live stream that, uh, you know, we may, we're going to introduce maybe a new tier, um, you know, that we're, we're experimenting with this YouTube uh, membership option. But uh, that's something, so if you join now, you're getting in early, you're buying the dip, if you will, and then hopefully it explodes, um, you know, and, uh, but we want to do more of that with our members. And then what I'm thinking too is for this Friday, you know, for these Friday shows, I was talking with Alpha, we may do a type of thing where if, because it can happen, if a community, if a member of our channel happens to be the Friday winner, they would be like a multiplier. So your gift card, if you land on $25, it might be 50. If you land on a plane, it might be a plane and a battery because you're a subscriber, things like that. Um, but for the first show, uh, we're gonna have some fun today. So at some point, that's gonna go. 
Uh, GB, on Wednesday, the private live show was at 12 p.m. Eastern. Same time it is now. Drew Monahan, welcome to the Motion RC Community Captainship. Don't worry, GB, I didn't go live during your during your show on a Wednesday night. Sir, that was uh, during the day. I, I do it during work. I ain't doing it at night when I'm off work. Um, but yeah, so make sure if you're watching now, click the like button on this video. That helps your chances. Make sure you're a subscriber. Click the bell. The bell will be, you know, you got to click subscribe. Then there's a bell that you click and that'll just notify you. And, and this software knows, you know, trust me, YouTube, Google, um, they know everything you're doing anyway on there. So, you know, it all helps uh, to go. So we're going to have some fun today. We got it riled up. We, we know who the winner is already, but we'll reveal it to you when the time is right. I don't know when this is going to pop up and when we're going to spin the wheel. That's been left up to Alex. So let's get started with our regular uh, scheduled program. So if you guys were on our website and you noticed ZOHD, uh, we've been restocked. So um, go check out the website, ZOHD. If you guys are looking for like FPV type platforms, this is the drift. Um, I love this thing. It, it's perfectly made. The way they make these planes, um, what I'm noticing, I had two here. I have the dart and I have this. And we have about six other options on the website. Land Mitten Glover, welcome to the community. Motion RC community captainship. Um, Unbelie Sean Peterson, welcome to the Motion RC community captainship. Welcome aboard. The whole video is just going to be doing, doing, doing welcome this. Aboard. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thank you so much. Unbelievable. I love, I love these Fridays, especially on May 28th. Today's my son's birthday. My birthday's on Monday, Memorial Day. I'm a 31st, May 31st, so it's a good weekend uh, coming around. But back to ZOHD, if you want to roll the, uh, the video. So these are, all the, you know, these are all the options on the website. You can see the ones we got pictures for. Um, those are the ones I've had in studio. The white backgrounds, I'm going to get a couple more of these in the future, and we're going to have more FPV equipment to go inside. But you can take a look at some of these. I love the way the, the thought process, um, having these, they really thought out uh, the platforms to really be accommodating for all sorts of different types of FPV equipment, regardless of the option. Timmy Tutan, welcome to the Motion RC Community Captainship. Um, but you got the Sky Hunter, uh, some real good options, and I love how they, they, they work well with run cam. They give you foam slots for GoPros. Um, you name the FPV equipment you want to use, and it goes in there nicely. Our, the little ZOHD camera that I have in this one, like the drift here, was made for it. It fits perfectly. It's already The foam is already molded uh, to fit, and they are just a really good time. They've got speed. They can, you know, all different power sort of options can go on them. And if you're really looking for good chase, like that dart is a great chase plane. It can keep up with some of our jets and stuff, unlike some of the drones. Like even Alex's chase drones um, don't quite, you don't get the you don't get the hang time, the flight time. You can't glide with a plane. You can really feel like you're in formation versus, you know, just gives you a different aspect when you're flying. So if you're into that type of stuff, then definitely check the uh, the Zod or Z-O-H-D. Zod. Zod. <laughs> Zod Superman style. But uh, check them out. They got some great uh, options great uh you know great overall aircraft and built really well so definitely check them out and uh wanted to let you guys know that those are back in stock and as you see on the table before me we got a lot of those skynetic planes they came in last week mine got here uh over the weekend last weekend i got all of the new ones so on the uh if you want to cut to b cam we got two we got two cameras now too working so b cam you see we got the bald eagle on the uh Oh, it's coming and you didn't put it in. Alex is, come on, shame, shame. Where's B Cam? We got the bald eagle we put together. Oh, he's on the wall. I'll take him down. Just tough to see. Well, there's B Cam, but. B Cam still doesn't see it. <laughs> it I'll take him down. But we got bald eagle. I thought this was sweet. These are uh, ARF bundles. They're EPP, some of them. Some of them are EPO. But I thought that was so, so cool. I can't wait to get out and fly it. We've just we been on a. We got, uh, we got another one, AMR Pilot, AMR, AMAR Pilot. Welcome aboard. Awesome, thank you. But this is like a 1400 or 1430 millimeter wingspan, so it's a pretty big bird. And I like the print job on it, man. It looks really cool. We got the uh, a lot of uh, the classics that have come back. 
ones that were just favorites uh, from the past coming back as Skynetic and they got all new power systems they've rethought a few of the things inside of them but like Admiral Motor on the Shack 54 3D we just put this together yesterday uh, I was in the process of building it when we went live on on Wednesday but uh, they're fun to build because you're putting in all the ribbing they give you all the carbon sparring and uh, you know a little bit of thought process as you go in got Admiral ESC's and then I got a few more we got the Skynetic we Neptune these are great we'll talk about them in a little bit but uh, Ryan Middle, Middle Moss, welcome to the MRC Community Captainship Motion RC. Wow, this is getting insane. We did not spin the wheel yet, Ocean. And remember, if you are chosen, um, you have more. You don't have to be here live to be watching it. You can, uh, you know, you can watch the replay. You just have to claim your prize. You have one week. So by the next Friday's drawing, if you didn't claim claim your prize, you're out. We're not chasing you down either. You know, the, the idea behind this, we obviously will give something. We're trying to get community, uh, you know, you get you guys involved, you know. We always love being involved with the community. So, tired. <laughs> oh, <doing> Kevin, <laughs> I can do this all day, baby. I ain't getting tired. Woo! I see RC Jet Dude in here, man. Welcome. Good to see you uh, commenting. But uh, let's move on to the Facebook community before we get back to the Skynetics. Because I'm going to unbox, I got the EDF Neptune in front of me. And uh, MRC Facebook. So what was going on on Facebook today, uh, this week? Because remember, every time we go through the community, it's just what happened in the past week, what was shared. So the first thing is Yohei Hahami. I think I said that right, but he's got his Black Horse L39 out. That thing looks gorgeous. Hamilton, I know Hamilton's hanger if he's in there. He's got one. Few people got them now, and uh, it's one that I have not seen in person. I hope you uh, post some video of it. I would love to see that. Always love to see it go. Then we got Vic Shamulus. He's finishing up. It looks like the paint job is finished on his F-104, and now he's just waiting on Cali for those graphics. So this is fantastic. Oh, and speaking of, if you're watching this on Facebook, we only pay attention to the comments on YouTube. Um, Facebook, it's there for you to see it. But if you jump over to our YouTube, you can find the video and you can interact more. It's very hard to do two comment sections at the same time. So if you're watching Facebook, um, you know, this is a YouTube dedicated show. We just stream it there as well. Uh, so you could sort of tune in from the side. Space, we don't have enough screen space. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard enough to keep up with one chat as it is multiple. But uh, Vic, it's looking stunning, uh, your F-104. I can't wait to see you finish. I like what you did on the intakes with the black. Uh, I think it's going to look awesome as soon as you uh, get those graphics in. Then this great po post, Tommy VD Burge. Gotta love that. The real F-16 with a, with a customized version, I think Belgium Air Force. I mean, I don't know if they're brothers or I, I, didn't, I don't remember uh, what he had posted about it. Uh, it's too hard to remember all this stuff, but it's an unbelievable. I love whenever anybody posts their customized jet with the real one. I mean, you got to give that love. Drop that man some salute emojis for our members in there. Um, unbelievable. That looks so awesome. So, uh, you know, I, I bet the pilot would have loved it. And all the, the crew probably saw it. So like, that's so watch awesome. Watch him walk out with yeah. his RC plane. Like... <laughs> they should put it in the back seat. Oh, there is no back seat on that. Keep it in the on the plane and fly with it. It looks awesome, and it's a gorgeous paint scheme too. I wish he posted more pictures up close of the of the plane itself because it's awesome. We had Sean Brady got out some invasion stripes on his P thirty eight. Love that. You got to uh, you always got to love the invasion stripes, especially on the P thirty eight. Something about it just looks looks really sharp when uh, it goes through. So Sean Brady, thank you. I believe he's a member as well. Sean Brady is a community captain. And you can see we got a lot of new ensigns now, lieutenants. And uh, what is it, in three months, you guys are going to move up in another two months. It's awesome. Oh, thanks, Sean. Like to hear that. Love when the videos we make actually work and help people. That's, <laughs> That's always the, the best. I get the best comments I get are on the gyro videos. Those AL37 gyros. <laughs> Those are like, I'm you always getting comments. Life. Yeah, you <laughs> saved my life. Dirty DRC, welcome to the MRC Community Captainship. 
Welcome aboard, sir! Awesome. Dirty D, man. He's who you want if you like 3D printed parts. Uh, check him out on Thingiverse for his free stuff, but then if you want the really good stuff, you gotta go to, I think, 3D Cult. And, uh, like, I bought his laser targeting site, I believe it was, um, for my F-18. Thing's awesome. Uh, he does excellent work. If you want free wing, <laughs> free wing and probably everyone's parts, he, uh, he prints them out and missiles and all sorts of stuff. So, welcome, Dirty D. Then we had Ron Upton. He got out with his next uh, Hellcat, so I'm waiting to get back out with mine. But uh, that's hopefully going to be next week. But um, he was rip-roaring it. He's got an electric setup inside, and uh, I like to see that. The speed pass, he just posted these two clips. So uh, Devon Sebastian, if you want to become a member, it's on YouTube. Um, on your phone, there'll be a join button. It's usually right near wherever you subscribe, and then uh, you put in your credit card information and you become a member right now we have one membership level it's 99 cents per month so twelve dollars a year and the idea behind that was it's much easier to see uh if you have questions when we get to question and answer sessions things like that emojis more interaction and then we're slowly building out um the extra content that we're providing to members like private live streams from time to time things like that are going to happen private giveaways uh so, you know, join in if you can. Probably easier to do from a desktop if you got a desktop. But I believe on your phone you can, you should be able to do it. There's just a join right near the subscribe. Moving on, Rob Thompson. This is awesome. Some FPV jets. So he has FPV on all his setups. I see three of ours, one of someone else's, but all good. They all look great with their FPV. They always love that. Then we've got uh, Quan Anucha. Love these two L39s. I've seen them before, um, but they're like, you know, same, similar paint jobs. Always love seeing Matthew Thedig. Welcome to the Motion RC Community Captainship. Welcome aboard. And where's Kevin at? I'm still going strong. Jesse Tillman, welcome to the Motion RC Community Captainship. Welcome aboard, sir. Look at all that. Oh my goodness, we got a whoa, super chat. Whoa. Tim. That's our first super first chat. First super coming. chat. Unbelievable. John, John Frederick, <laughs> welcome to the Motion RC <laughs> Community Captainship. I just collapsed. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Wow, thank you so much. Did not expect that. Um, Timmy's always good for I met Timmy a long time ago at uh, Jet Jam. Hope to eventually bump way with him again. And welcome to all our uh, new community captains. This is this is gonna be fun. We're this growing is, something. This is awesome. We're catching on. <laughs> We're gonna need new graphics. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, all right, moving on to so we had those we another. Had the second pick. Oh, the second pick of that. Which so, is, look at that background. Look at the background. The L thirty nines. Love everything about that. Oh, John Holmes. Oh, Mike Bird with a super chat. Thank you, man. You do not have to do that, but this is all, all Super Chat stuff is going to go towards giveaways and up in the prize. I just got here going crazy. What, what are you guys doing? Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is like too much fun. This is too much fun. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So Jonathan Holmes, play this video while it's going, because this is the full. I just took it completely off YouTube. It's like three minutes, but he goes nuts with his F-22. So we can watch this for a little bit. Um, I love this. He posted it right to, uh, right to Facebook and man, every time Patricia Jensen, welcome to the motion. I see community captainship. Welcome aboard. Wow. Whoo. Tony Jensen. Welcome to the motion. I see community captainship. Unbelievable. The Jensen's we got any kids. They join in too. <laughs> Let's get the whole family in there. How many you got in the family? Unbelievable. Thank you guys so much. Oh, Alpha, we're gonna have to, Alpha may have to drop a, a an extra speed or something. I don't know, this is crazy. Nick Funaro, <laughs> welcome to the Motion RC Community Captainship. Woo! Scotty GRC, 499. AMR Pilot, $5. Let's get them tired, guys. Oh my goodness, that ain't gonna happen. I'll just keep screaming all day. But look, can we can we acknowledge his F-22? Drop the F-22 emojis, my members. 
because uh, Jonathan Holmes did some work, and I even got a chance to say how awesome uh, he was flying this thing around. I want to get out my F-22, like, right now. You guys just saw I was flying the F-4 the other day. Unbelievable. First time I ever flew it. Now I know why John Killen has five of them. <laughs> you know? It's unbelievable. And, uh, awesome. Awesome. We did not announce the winner yet. That's eventually going to be coming when we get there. Remember, every week it could be the beginning of the show. It could be at the end of the show. It could be whenever. We don't know. When it happens, it happens. And we will have some fun. You'll know. When it does. You're going to know. know. Yeah, you're going to know. know. John Killen, $5. $1 for every F4. One dollar for every F4. There you go. Thank. You. Look at this guy. Yes. Yeah, Look at this 22. He's going nuts with it. I could watch this all day. I absolutely love it. All right, moving on. So, Jonathan, thank you for sharing that. And we have John Killen. He's working on his fifth F4 with the weasel nose. Love it. And I just saw you posted some more this morning um, outside. I only grabbed this the other day, but I can't wait to see it when it's all complete. So it's awesome. Dad's RC hanger has to be done to make the pot bigger. For sure. Chris, <laughs> thank you so much, my man. We need a new graphic for Super Chats. Yeah, we don't, I never expected it. I never expected a Super Chat. Wasn't even thinking in that in that uh, realm. But you give people the option, man. And give them an inch, they take a foot. <laughs> Unbelievable. David Snyder. Awesome, Tomcat, if you're out there. Love what you did on the tails here. Looks really beautiful. Can't wait to see it. Rick, Rihanna, Schaefer, welcome to the Motion RC Community Captainship. Gary S, $5, keep it up. I'll keep it up. And David Bridge, if you join the Motion RC Community, you you just got to hit the join button and then they give you the option of, you know, to put in your card information, I'm sure. And, uh, you know, that's how it works. And then your name will pop up like this, uh, like everyone else. Thank you guys so much. Unbelievable. This is, this is a great day, man. Memorial Day weekend. Really Bring out fun. the best. Everybody's having everybody's having a ball, and so am I. Andrew Williams. I don't know if I've ever seen Jib in uh, in the chat, but he's got his MiG-29 uh, his MIG 29 that he, uh, he had crashed hit uh, originally. He was one of the first people to post a video flying his MiG-29 on Facebook. I remember Gary S. Welcome to the Motion RC Community Captainship. Uh, but then he repainted this one, Andrew Williams, and uh, this thing looks fantastic. So he fixed it up and made it look even better than it did. So uh, unbelievable work there. Flying it naked too. Looks good naked without the ordnance. But he's got the afterburners on the back. Everything about that looks fantastic. So uh, good on him. Now, did we miss one? Yeah. Daniel Pamela. Oh, this is great. If you guys uh, catch this on Facebook... I took the music, or the music, lower the music, it's Icky Thump, it's yeah. Icky Thump, so we don't want to get demonetized because of Icky Thump, but uh, <laughs> White Stripes, it's a great video, just uh, two dudes flying some MiG-21s, and it's so much better to watch it on Facebook, so run over to Facebook, search uh, Daniel Pamela's name, you'll probably see it pop up, but... I think I shared it the other day. It looked, yeah, I think you shared it on our on our site, it, it was awesome, love the cut up. And uh, just looks so good. And with the music, obviously, a whole lot better when it. <laughs> Gotta love that. Anders, where's Anders at? Always love the smoke on the Gripen. Beautiful shot. And then this might have been the coolest one. Um, one of the coolest ones coming from TD Maker, Stephen Baker. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, he was a winner, actually, TD. Did you, get your coffee mug? you gotta, You gotta just. Uh, contact us at con you you won a coffee mug on Wednesday you weren't live during our uh, membership but you won something sir we're gonna send you something out but twenty dollars you just bought like five more coffee mugs <laughs> so thank you man thank you so much unbelievable uh, former well always a giant New York Giant my team I'm football that's my team and my man scored a touchdown in the Super Bowl I can't not say that whenever I see his name pop up unbelievable thank you so much for even watching our little channel he's golfing nice <laughs> all right we got adrian winship um i love this customized like livery completely made up 
livery skull squadron a canadian f-22 i thought this was so sweet um so sweet and uh it looks so good it looks like a thunderbirds canadian version you know yeah just uh really sweet i love when people take the you know let their imagination run wild a little bit so uh that does it for our facebook tour and now we're gonna move on to youtube okay we're doing youtube all right YouTube. we're still on youtube it's coming it's got to be coming we're getting there we're getting there but uh let's see we had a couple good things to share on youtube one first one will show up uh just wing it so just wing it uh, because i flew the f4 happen to see him pop this up again this is chris wolf of the rc geek flying on uh just wing its channel and this is their uh the qf4 i believe it is the QF-4B Phantom II. It's like a target drone. They used to paint them orange um, and then shoot them out of the sky, I guess, or just target on them. They probably wouldn't shoot them down. But he did a great job. And Brent Hecht also has one like this, and they both flew them together numerous times. But I thought it was great because now that I've flown the F-4 for the first time, finally, uh, this week, uh, it was on my mind. And it, it's so locked in, too, right? I, like, Dialed. that was such a good flight. We had so much fun with that. So it was fantastic. Boom, boom. That was awesome. And then we have, oh, I saw this one pop up, Hashim Marcus. So uh, some chase of the 1.2 flight line Spitfire out at a park. And you know me, guys, I'm a sucker for a Spitty. And I'm a sucker for some drone And chase. Alex is a sucker for a drone chase. And uh, I loved everything about this video. I enjoyed watching this last night when I found it. And uh, this is awesome. Uh, Devon will get there when when we do that. So we'll tell everybody how you're gonna how you'll be able to redeem your prize for sure. It's just emailing us. That's all. And we have an email uh, address that'll pop up that's dedicated to this. And uh, that's how you'd you'd redeem your prize. You don't have to keep spamming the chat, man. The odds, remember, it's a lot of people out there. So you know, might not be this week. Might not be next week. Might be the week after. You know, we'll go. But uh, I love this video, so give give these guys a follow. Hasham Marcus, love it. Uh, next one, DW Productions. So this is cool. Turn the sound up on this one. 12S Avanti. 12. 12S. Double your pleasure, double your fun, double mint, double mint gum. Uh, <laughs> this was it sounds so good. Guy cameraman couldn't even keep up with it. Couldn't he? Wasn't ready for the first pass. He gets one good. One good pass on, on camera right, right here, here, and I'll play it. I played it twice. But go give... Woo! You don't like you don't like RC and I think he says something like, if you don't like this, then you just don't like RC flying. <laughs> and so I play it again. Here it comes again. And he's right. If you don't like that, then what are you doing here? Because that's, that's what everybody is moving up to. That's where we want to go. That was awesome. Uh, then we had Dirk Vanderbank, two of them actually. So first one he filmed Philip Duravel, uh, guy at his field I guess with the SU with the Su 35, uh, twin 70. I believe it's got the in runners in it, and um, guy was just doing some crazy cobra maneuvers as you should with this, but doing it really well. Like where's Air Guardian at? Is he here? Like. Easier. I put this for you know Air Guardian loves seeing these and uh, flanker gang there he is <laughs> and uh, this guy flies it really well doing all sorts of flat spins and cobras and you name it just really testing the uh, testing the might of the suit 35 there he goes Woo! this is the way <laughs> this is the way for sure Speaking of, my son's birthday is Star Wars themed, so this is definitely. But check this out. Ah! Ah! Awesome. Awesome. Looking so good. And sounds so good, too. And then uh, Dirk Vanderbank, he got out, or Hendrik Wires. Uh, Heinrich, sorry. Heinrich Wires uh, with the F 16. So this is my next one to take out the field now that the F 4 is done. I, I built up. My, uh, the F-16, I'm going to get out with that one and uh, get some flying myself in 
with the new in-runner on the F-16 I'm excited about. So I love seeing it pop up because I could watch this and now I have an idea of what I'm, what I'm in for. So uh, either way, give Dirk Vanderbank, that's his YouTube channel written out as it should. Give him a follow for sure. And, uh, you know, that's what we're doing this for. And then last but not least, go check out the Air Guardian because he always posts some good videos. And this one was tight maneuvering of the MiG-29. And he posts these really long. And they're long and they really give you such good ideas of what these aircraft can do on his videos. I wish he had... music under this one? There, uh, I think I might have taken it out. No, I don't think there's music under this one. Uh, if there's music under it, he, he does some crazy hard rock sometimes that we can't... Uh, I'm all about it. He, we're all about it, but we can't play it on, on our video. And also, I only want to give you like a minute of these guys' videos. So you go over there and if you enjoy the content, go finish the content. Give them likes. Give them subscribes. You know, that's what's going to help build the hobby. You hit the like button on anybody's videos and they pop up more for everyone else. And uh, that only helps everyone. So, um... You know, that's partly why we do it. So that about does it for YouTube, though. So next, we're going to be talking about some Skynetic aircraft. Are we? Uh -oh, uh -oh. Oh my god, Alpha, $27. <laughs> Thanks to all our new members and donators. Unbelievable. Thank you, Alpha. Welcome to the Motion RC Community <laughs> Captainship. Unbelievable. Super chatting. This is awesome. So that's what it'll look like now when we're going to do our spin and win. So it is time. Let's unveil the winner. Let's unveil the winner. Here we go. Flying Fortress RC is the winner of our first uh, sub spin and win. So let's spin the wheel and see what he wins. We got to bring the wheel up. You got it up there. The wheel is so up. we could show them first before we spin it. You know, some of the prizes are big, some of them are small. We got some spin agains, and we're going to play with this as we go. Um, and I think what we're going to do, too, eventually we're going to get rid of this uh, online wheel. And we're going to have a real wheel on the table in front of me. Because um, we want the real sound. We want to do this for real. But we got 24 slots like Wheel of Fortune. And uh, we are ready to go. Bring those comments section up before we spin it. Oh, you got to spin it that way. Which way? Victor EDF RC Jets, come on, new release. Sure. No, I just want to see it. So hit the spin and are we ready? Are we ready? We're ready. Spin the wheel. Flying Fortress RC. What are you going to win? What is it at? GT Power Battery Tester. Woo! Woo! We'll get there. One day we're going to give away something big or we'll get a spin. And then we got to find a way to interact. I want to interact with the people who are here on the live show too. So again, this is going to be uh, this is going to grow. So there it is. Flying Fortress RC. Put up the email to claim your prize. You just got to email contest at motionrc.com. And uh, you have until next Friday, until the wheel spins again, you have to uh, email us, claim your prize. And um, yeah, so that that's as simple as it is. And remember, guys, for everyone out there, if you're a subscriber... If you click the bell, you're automatically entered uh, every week. But the random generator will always, uh, you know, is probably weighted towards comments, likes, you know, just watching the channel. So obviously, if you're somebody who subscribed and you never watch, you wouldn't even know this anyway. So you're probably not going to win. But if you're somebody who's active, um, you know, more than likely, it could be you. So, uh, you know, a lot of you are very active. So comment hit the like button watch the videos do whatever you need to do and always come back every friday and now that you see you see this graphic um if you're somebody if you're watching a replay and you don't want to watch a whole show you could skim forward in the show till you see all this blue and you'll know that that's when we're giving away uh the prize and this will change too but we thought this graphic was pretty fun <laughs> so uh that was awesome congrats to flying fortress rc i look forward to uh getting your email and getting your prize out to you, sir, or ma'am, 
you could fly B-17s and, and be a woman too, by far. So uh, this what is, is awesome. What is alpha mean Thank you, George Watch. Alpha, do the thing. Do which thing? Tell me. Speak. Uh, <laughs> speak normally. You telling me what I think you're telling me, but I don't know. All right, moving on to uh, so Skynetic. Again, got a lot of these classic birds back and some new ones. So the the bald eagle wasn't on our website in the past. We're excited to get this out. I can't wait to actually fly this one. Um, just something about it looks really cool. And it was fun to play with EPP uh, as well. It's been a while since since I did that. And as I told you guys, I've, I'm 3D's never been my my jam. Um, I never was interested. But now that like this is here and I got a few of these, like this is what you learn 3D on. Stuff like this. These EPP, uh, like this Yak 54. We took it out. Kevin Hogwell, thank you so much, man. You're not tiring me out with 499. Would be like 149. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, something like this, what you learn 3D on, like, because the best thing about EPP, even better than EPO, um, you know, you could smash this thing in a million bits and glue each piece right back together. But I think they did a great job recoloring them. Uh, they're scheme nice and went together. It's an ARF bundle, so you're doing some work to get it together. But uh, you know, nothing that's too dramatic. But uh, when I took it outside to get to get pictures of it, I was just holding it and revving it up. Got a lot of power on that motor, so I'm really excited. It's a it's 120, it's 1250 kV uh, brushless outrunner on it with a 30 amp ESC, and again, that's all included. All the electronics are all included in in all of these. Um, and then again, I have some boxes on the side. I've basically got every single new one. So we're working through. I want to get I got to get them all built. Uh, obviously, and do all the other aspects of my job. Chris Rambo, ten dollars, unbelievable, unbelievable. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. I love this. Is, what a day! What a day! <laughs> Was not expecting it to be. People love free stuff. Who doesn't? But it's new. I'm, I'm excited to be able to do this on the channel because I, I know a lot of other channels I, I watch uh, do things like this. Maybe not as crazy as. You know, I go overboard with things, just a little bit. But if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it right. Um, so I'm just excited. It brings people out and, you know, to give a little bit away, give give back uh, is awesome. And like I said, if you join the channel, um, stay tuned because we do that wheel. Like the other day, we were going to do it three times, and then Alpha popped in and said, spin it again, spin it again, spin it again. <laughs> and, we had, and we had some fun. Uh, so it was awesome. But uh, now I got, now I'm excited about this one. So it's back, the EDF Neptune. Um, we got the Neptune 2, which is the prop version, which is awesome. And this one, how easy was this assembly? When we put out this assembly video, <laughs> it's literally like, you know, you glue one, two, three, four, and put the hatch on, and you're done. The, the plane comes out of the box already included. The prop was, oh no, I put the prop on too, sorry. The prop was not on, but the, all the control horns, everything was already uh, installed. But then you got the one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite aircraft. Oh, we got another one? No, what am I looking sorry, at? I'm telling you to show, show Oh, the, show it uh, over here. Oh, we're on the camera too. I forgot. Yeah, we got, the we got camera there. too. So this is the EDF. Uh, you know, if, if you like flying wings, I love flying wings. Um, and this is EPO, but the Neptune is so much fun. I, I have this, uh, I had... The original version had it at Joe Nall, used to fly it around a bunch, and it glides. You could get so much flight time on uh, on the Neptune 2. So again, you got the hatch. Let's just show you how quick these 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 are going to go together so fast. These ones, not the EPP ones. They're ARF bundles, so you're going to have to put in your electronics. But the uh, the EPO ones, like the the two Neptunes, awesome. So these just glue on. We'll slot into our. Uh, verticals you cut these out put them on but let's get the wings it's a good size too what i like about it and look all all done up nice see the skynetic on it show the uh show the b-cam there boss. show the b-cam there there you go oh thank you see mafia see mafia michael thank you so much man for your 20 dollars. that's unbelievable thank you man C Mafia. Unreal. He's going to be down at, at the Jet Jam representing uh, Motion RC for us with some planes. So it's going to be awesome. 
like Alpha said, probably the best idiot wing flown for the money. I, I would say the best thing about it, it just it, it glides for days. And that's everything in the box. So you don't have to install anything. Basically, it's just some glue on the wings. Insert the servos and the spar. I'm going to put it together right now without glue. Well, let's do it. We got the spar. In. RC Stinger, thank you. RC sir. Stinger, thank you, man. He only just recently joined the channel, and uh, thank you so much, man. And I gave I gave everyone a shout out before, but uh, now that you're a member, I usually try to go through and give some posts and shout out as well. But check this out. So, boom. So once I get some glue in there, she basically be done. But she's a big she's a big bird. So my wingspan is like, you know, I'm six feet. So, you know, it's a good wingspan. It's a good solid and floats. It floats for days. So then these, I forget where these go, but I think they go like this. P and P means there you plug go. and play. Jeremiah. Plug and play. So that means you just have to you just have to bring your own receiver and battery to the party, and uh, you're good to go. And this is a three, three four S bird. I'm forgetting now. Alpha four S or three S? Let me see what's in here. I think it's three S. 30 amp ESC, I believe it's a 3S uh, platform, but it, it, it screams on 3S. And then these will be, uh, you just cut these and they glue in right here. You just got to, uh, they got that, but these will glue on the back and basically you're done, man. That would be it for, uh, for the Neptune. And also an awesome, uh, another would be an awesome FPV platform too, which would be great. But you know, and then comparing it to the other one, so it's a little bigger than the prop version. But uh, I always love wings, man. Like, uh, like I've said in the past shows, like the Lippish is one of my favorite EDFs to fly. The little uh, 3S Toss and Boss Lippish we have, and because it's scale, um, I always want a big. Like, if this was even bigger with retracts on it, just something about it just is really cool, and they they glide for days. And they, they float so well. And then some of the other boxes, I'm not going to go through them all, but these would be some of the other kits. Uh, so expect these uh, videos, build videos coming. Oh, and I took them out of the other box. I don't even know which one's in here. One of them's the Yak. One of them's the uh, the Pijit. Pijit? I don't, I don't say it right. Like pattern plane. We got a couple 3D planes. Oh, the Pop Wings in there. So another prop wing, but it's the EPP version. Um, pop Wings were always popular. And... Um, you know good to have those back as well so uh definitely check them all out on the website now under skynetic and moving rather quickly especially now the bald eagle um i think people really just dig things like that i can't wait to fly we got hawks up there oh yeah you know you're just gonna have some fun i was gonna say july 4th's coming up you gotta get your bald eagle ready oh july 4th uh, for sure memorial day i have to give a bald eagle flight on memorial day that's what we're doing that's what i'm doing anyway alex is off <laughs> i'm off too Everybody's off, but uh, unbelievable. And look at that. It's only 12.45, 15 minutes. I went through that fast. You're so excited. We're so excited. So excited, so excited to do that. I can't wait to do it every week because it's just going to randomly pop up, this sub, spin, and win thing. And, um, you know, when it does. And I've talked to Alpha what I want to do, too. Um, I want to add some things to the wheel. I was thinking about it this morning. I almost, I almost threw it on. I didn't get confirmation. But I was going to add one little thing to the wheel where it says, you know, spin the, spin again, but also give a free spin to a member of the live, you know, a member who's watching now. And then I'd ask a question, and the first person to answer the question, you get a spin of the wheel. Something like that, you, get you know? Spin, and you get and a spin. And you get a spin like Oprah. <laughs> you get a prize. And you get a prize. Um, but, you know, that'll come. So stay with the, uh, stay with the show. So uh, let's move on to the, we're in the questions and answers uh, portion. So now that I'm dedicated to you guys here for our last 10 minutes or so, um, KO, time flies when you're rocking. Yeah, baby. This is great. What a great, what a great day. I got a kid's birthday party coming up and then my birthday's on Monday. It's, it's the best weekend. So we're, I love this time. And the weather's good. It's perfect time of the year. Perfect day to do it salutes to you guys so any questions for me about this stuff um you know devon if you're spamming the chat you're gonna get timed out and if you do it too much you're just gonna get the boot hammer so uh you know or it auto times you too so you know be careful on that 
But Kevin, I mean, that would be fun. Everyone's a winner. I would love to make everybody a winner for sure. Would love to. Thank you so much, man. Let your winner choose an uh, item from, from the, the workshop. Wall. From the wall. <laughs> See, but the problem is, I'm like everybody else. I ain't shipping these. I ain't breaking <laughs> them down and shipping out. That's already built stuff. That's that's not me. <laughs> Will you be dressing as a Mandalorian? No, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't have my, uh, oh my goodness, now I'm forgetting the, what? what's the, what's the metal? Eternium? No, not Eternium, it's not Vibranium. Why well, am I forgetting what it's, <laughs> best core, best core. Yeah, my best core limit, I, I can't, I can't, you know, I don't have the tool strong enough to, uh, to meld my, uh, my own outfit there, so. Uh, KO, yeah, man, check it out. These are all available now, and again, moving quick. We did get a lot of them. The whole container came into these, but um, they move fast because they're priced right, and they're just so much fun to have for such little price. Glenn Davis, there he is. He wants to see me fly helis. I want to see me fly helis. And Glenn, we may have Glenn on the show next week if you're available. Maybe we'll do it another week. I know he's going to be gone, but I talked to Glenn. He was the first winner on our Wednesday live show. Um, and he claimed his prize right away, and uh, I want to have him on to talk helis because he's got a lot of Roban stuff, and I definitely want to fly some helis. But one thing at a time. We have so much stuff to uh, to work through. There's not enough me's to go around. Uh, what would you say is the most requested new aircraft? That's so funny. I just said something about that <laughs> on there. Um, the most requested new aircraft is probably one that Alpha wouldn't dream of making. I don't know. <laughs> it's like that's probably the best answer I can give but I don't know um people seem to I think if I went back if you probably went through I'd probably say like an SR-71 it's just super popular um seems like tons of people want an SR-71 um you know I remember it being like that in the Tomcat the first time I did the uh March Mayhem before it was a community driven one I just put random aircraft and it was like the Tomcat and the SR-71 were one and two as far as votes. Then A-10 was there, and then, like, Mustang. Um, but, yeah, people love that. Love that plane. Uh, Gary, no, the Neptune does not need stabilization at all. It's a big wing. It would be very hard to, to lose. It's got big surfaces on it. Um, it's very graceful, I will say. It's not, it's not drill bitty like the Lippish would be. Um... You know, it's more graceful, but it just moves so nicely. There's video out there of, um, you know, of the you know original version uh, flying, but I can't wait to get this one back out to the field. But I'm not going to put a gyro in it or anything like that. There's no way. This thing just leaves your hand and just glides so nicely. Um, you don't have to worry about that. Any news on the bison? Mike, it's, I believe it's on its way or it's getting close. And as soon as it's basically on its way is when we're going to do our announcement i'll have it back on the table and we'll show the flying footage and everything um i'm still actually waiting on my float set uh because i want to do some videos off the lake uh you know that's what i'm really excited about the bison for um we have a lot of lakes around georgia and to be able to get out there uh with some floats like i just got myself floats for the air titan so i want to get out and do a video uh on floats with the air titan and i got in touch with uh steve steve johnson who i believe is a member as well i don't know if you're watching out there steve but he just emailed me. He's at a club, Alex, that's about an hour from us. Uh, but he's got a big lake that's Lake Osasoni. I don't know. I'm not from Georgia. Um, I've been here three years, but I, the pronunciations of some things, that might be easy. Of, like, I mean, we come from Long Island. Yeah, we like come from Long, Long Hot Island, Patchog, Hopog, <laughs> Massapequa. Uh, I'm used to that. But when it comes to other, but Lake Osasoni, but they do like a float fly there. So I may... Uh, bring both of those out to that when I get the uh, when I get the floats. I love float flying. One of my favorite things to do is um, you know just be out of the lake and flying off water is just awesome. Can you make an insurance plan for learners? Yeah, that would be great. Uh, we have eagles at our field. Could prove interesting. Yeah, man, Patricia, get the get the road the eagle up there. See what they do. Was, I'm interested. Was Stone Mountain the place where we went for the uh, Bronco that one time? Or is that no, we time? were we went to North Georgia Model Aviator. Stone Stone Mountain's a close one too. Another club that we wanted to go, go check out at some point. 
Steve Johnson, there he is. He's there. What's your field? What's your uh, club name? Shout out your club, Steve. I was I was on the website when you emailed me to check it out, and it looks like a great place to fly. I may want to go to the field with some jets because, you know, again, looks like you don't have the trees at the end of each runway yeah. like uh, Must be nice. like mine does. But uh, it would be great. What am I flying for my birthday on Monday? Um, a beer? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go out and fly on my birthday because it is my birthday. So, uh, you know, I try not to do work on my birthday. <laughs> on Memorial Day. So, uh, but we'll see. I might bring the eagle to the park with my, with my kids. Uh, I think they'd love to see that and have some fun. So, that one I'm really, that one I'm really excited about. Juan really to wants get to on. know about the uh, headlong tanks here. Hello, Alpha's in the chat. He would be the best one to uh, to answer that question. Um, you know, they they should be on their way. I believe they're on their way, or they're very close to being on their way. Um, there was a hang up at that factory, and it's been a been a long way for everybody, not just Motion RC, as getting these. But they're still in existence, and they are coming. And um, I believe we're gonna have the newest upgraded ones when they do arrive. So I believe they might have come out with another seven seven point oh board or something, which I think we're gonna get in. But I'm excited. I'm just excited for that. And the Toro tanks too, guys. You you guys, you have access to those Toro tanks now. And then I want. I can't wait till the U.S. warehouse gets the Toro tanks because that Sturm Tiger is coming to me uh, as soon as possible. I like the weird looking tanks. Um, I love it. I just got here and it's raining. Uh, yeah, it looks like it was going to rain today, later too. For the first time though, it's been about three weeks without it. Yeah. But uh, just a little rain. James, any more gas flying in your future? Fix that flutter. Dirty D, I, I haven't had a chance. I got all the parts. That's my next step. I wanted to get the F4 out of the way. I want to get the F16. And then these all came in. It's like, you know. It's how it goes. On Wednesday, we started building this. I did not expect it to take me as long, especially when you're filming these builds. You want to get all the pictures of because we're trying to update the manuals are different so uh like something like this which would normally take maybe an hour to build took us like four because you're stopping to get the pictures and doing it right um i still got you know these things are now more important but i'm gonna get back to it so um you know i'd say within two weeks i'm gonna have the the hellcat back up flying and ready to go i've got the props for it now so i just gotta fix my timing um my needles i want to bring down my high end and uh just be able to get it the low end down more so that it doesn't ta it wanted to just taxi on its own i wanted to be able to sit there idling without a risk of shutting off and just be able to sit on the runway without having to move so uh once i do that and yeah the now i, I believe i still have to replace that servo because that flutter definitely did some damage to my elevator servo so i'm going to replace that little bit of work not not too much just a matter of getting around to it so I'm excited to do that. Uh, Brenton, the Havoc is back in the EU. I saw people are digging it, and that means it should be on its way to us soon. So uh, I'm I'm excited for that. Like you guys, I've been waiting. I crashed my Havoc uh, accidentally a while back, and I was mad at myself when I did it. And like a lot of you, I was not expecting to have to wait. But another, you know, COVID uh problem that just took a little longer to get back up and going but they are in production and if not on the waters so havocs are on the water so go to the website yes alpha makes a good point anything you guys want make sure you go to the product page and click the notify me when back in stock because when it does come in stock you don't have to keep checking the website every day you'll get an email immediately um you know when uh when it does come back in so that's the best way to do it gb i'm with you man I'm with you. Kevin, I'd love to get out to more events for sure. But we're waiting. Like I said, the first one we're getting to is now in the fall. And then thereafter, we will start getting out to more events. Next year, for sure, we're going to have the regular scheduled event uh, event ensemble. I'm going to try to throw in some extra ones to make up for the ones that we missed. I want to get out on the road, too, as well. Mm -mm -mm. F4 Turbine Alpha. John K I've that A4, last week we shared the turbine video. Alex wasn't here. But uh, Yoda from uh, Mickey BRC. Mickey, you were saying it. Uh, you know, a turbine in the F4 would probably sound pretty bad. That would be awesome. Bad in a good way. Bad in a good way. 
Yes, post your events up on hobbysquawk.com. There's an event page there. And you can share them in um and you can share them in the Facebook community too. We don't mind anything. Oh, we're we're actually looking at Facebook. What's up, Facebook? I'm looking at your comments there if you're watching. Andrew O'Bannon. <laughs> sitting in a cement truck watching this. I'm sorry, man. Any news on the T45? Uh, anything like that, guys? Free wing stock? It's, trust me, it's all coming. It's just a matter of when. Just a matter of when. James, maybe some cars next time. Love planes. We, I got cars on the way for sure. Um, I got some Kyosho stuff um, that we're gonna get. We're gonna get doing. I'm trying to link up with someone here who knows cars. Uh, I do have. I found there's a local track. Uh, indoor track where I could bring some of these so you know the XK stuff we were just starting out with that and um, I want to get into some of the big stuff that we got but like you got I gotta learn it you know it's like we get comments on these boat videos I did and they're like this guy doesn't know what he's talking about and I'm like You're yes obviously not a sailor. I said that in the video like I said I don't know what I'm talking about you know you don't have to call me out on it I know but I still sailed the thing you know like <laughs> It, it went well. Tony hey, Fretwell, hey, hey. welcome aboard. You know, you got to be a good at everything, but, you know, master of nothing. What is, that? What, is the, what is the quote? You know, it's hard, man. Do the Black Horse FW190 next, dude, with 120cc. <laughs> yes, Matt. I, 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 well, like I said, I already have the P47 here. Not as big as the 190, and I got the Zero. One of those is going to get... At least the 60 cc. I think the 120 would be too much. I would need something even bigger for the 120. But uh, I'm 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 down, my man. I'm down. I am down. Jeremiah, it's awesome. I'm I'm. It's great that we're getting car guys too, because that's that's the other thing. You know, we share from Hobby Squawk, we share from Facebook, and I share from YouTube. And you know, right now planes are what we're known for. But, uh, you know, I look for that stuff. I want more people to share car content. I'd love to put Kyosho stuff, people outside filming it. Um, it just hasn't come through yet. So hopefully as we break into that market, more people realize that this is a place to go. We want you to come to Hobby Squawk and talk about that stuff and build up those forum threads. Um, you know, but car guys, a whole different world. So it would be awesome. <laughs> is it hard being a pimp in the streets? <laughs> It is. It is. it is. Pimping ain't easy. <laughs> do the planes break down for transport, or do I need a semi? Um, depends on the plane. Which one? Which one are we talking about? Why does anyone make a rare barrel critical mass? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Other companies, other products. Moshell and Tamiya, Beetles, buggies, and racers. Oh my. Those tech ones reincarnated. Yes, you know, reincarnated, brought back, and upgraded systems. So now they're coming with Admiral Motors, Admiral ESCs, um, you know, our stuff. And um, you can expect more from the Skynetic line, man. Uh, this is our stuff. It's awesome. There you go, licensing. That's why nobody makes those. That's why nobody <laughs> makes those? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah, well, rare bear and critical mass are real, real aircraft. I forgot you got to pay somebody for that. Black Horse Super Cub. Ooh, Tony, that that's a good idea. A big Super Cub. I have the Fairchild from Black Horse. You know, I'm trying to expand. I think the if I'm gonna go in the next Black Horse, I'm going with the Do three three five. I need the double prop. Prop in the front, prop party in the back, you know, like business up front, party in the back. Those kind of models are just, you know, something different. You know, a cub, as beautiful as they are. Um, Danny Carter, welcome to the Motion RC Community Captainship. And I know Danny, and you know Danny. That is, I believe that's Danny Danny. I just want to comment on your welcome from the start of the show. You were... Full all the way across. Welcome aboard! Yeah, Danny just got like a little hand. No, hand. Danny, I, I'm not. I'm not tiring out for Danny. I'll give him the real one. Danny Carter, welcome aboard, sir. I'm slipping. See, see, they noticed. I'm slipping. I'm. I'm almost out of coffee. Hold on. <laughs> Let's finish it. You need some jet fuel. I need jet fuel. Yeah, I need like a whole black. Now I need a black one. Full on. But just like that, it is 
unbelievable. So let's go in closing, and I want to wish everyone, a uh, all especially everybody in the states, um, enjoy your Memorial Day. <laughs> enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Um, you know, I guess Happy Memorial Day is what you'd say, but you know, just remember to uh, you know think about. Um, can I stand up again? Yeah, there yeah, we go. Uh, you know, just spend five minutes and just think about anyone you might have lost. Uh, all the people who sacrificed. That's what the day is really about. It's not just about a day off and partying. Um, although it's nice to have a day off and have a full weekend. And it'll be my birthday and I'm excited about that. Uh, so, but everybody have, and yeah, I just dropped that. That's an emoji for today. Uh, I threw in there because I could change those emojis out uh, real quick, which is fun. But, um, you know, have a have a great weekend, you know, enjoy it, have some fun flying. Um, hopefully you're enjoying it with family and friends and, you know, all that stuff. And as always, you know, tune into the Motion RC channel, drop a comment on any video, it doesn't matter. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed it. And next week, as we grow this sub spin and win, we're going to do it again. And I can't wait in about two or three weeks. Whenever it comes, I'm gonna have a real wheel. I'm done with this. We're gonna get rid of this, uh, you know, this electronic software wheel, and we're gonna have the real wheel with the sound. And uh, this is gonna be fun because we're gonna do it every week and just be a part of what's a great community that we built here over the last, geez, year and a half. We've been doing these live shows now every Friday. Um, it goes so fast, and I thank you all so much. And all my new members today, uh, from Danny Carter at the end, all the way to the beginning, Matthew oh, Brothers, yeah. welcome to the Motion RC Community Captainship. Thank you, sir. We had like 20-something members today, live chat, unbelievable. Um, thank you guys all so much, and uh, just stay tuned. If you're a member now, just stay tuned, and probably, I would say around July, August would be the next uh, giveaway. And depending on how this go, we'll make it even bigger than the last one we had the other day um, for the community members, um, you know, and then for everyone else. Like I said, just be a part of it. Thank you all for being a part of it. And go out, get yourself a Skynetic aircraft if you wish. Go check out the ZOHD line. If you're in the EU, go grab a Toro tank. Grab some cars if you want a Kyosho or a Tamiya or an XK car. Uh, go out and do everything. Um, RC this weekend and again have a great moral day everyone we will see you next Friday for another sub spin and win live show later guys